Welcome hockey fans to another episode of Hockey Night in the Valley. Today's episode is called At the Helm and it's all about those wonderful people that teach this outstanding game, coaches. This episode will explore why these volunteers are involved in the game, what they bring to the game and how they got involved in it. Additionally, we've got some points and considerations from the top head coach in the city of Calgary, Bob Hartley. I have my own hockey camp, so I deal with lots of minor hockey coaches, lots of parents. I think that the, the biggest problem or maybe the biggest trap that a minor hockey coach will get into is that you know, if you look at minor hockey kids, they look at the Sidney Crosby's, they look at the Ovechkin, they look at the Monahan here, and so they want to compare themselves. Unfortunately, like lots of minor hockey coaches, they look at the NHL coaches for kind of tricks or ways to work, and it's two totally different games, two totally different businesses where at the NHL level, we're paid to win. We're not paid to play everyone. We're not. We're paid to make decisions that will impact like a franchise on wins and losses. Compared to at the minor hockey level, it should be about development and fun. As as a minor hockey coach, my number one priority should be as soon as little Billy leaves the rink at 10 o'clock on Saturday, he gets into his dad's car. His first question should be, when is my next practice or when is my next game? A coach should be a reason why a young kid would want to come back to the rink. I coached in Switzerland three years ago and I was amazed of all, all the work that minor hockey coaches do with kids, not only on the ice, but mainly before practice with soccer ball, going around cones, like plyometrics. I felt that you know, like uh, even a seven, eight, nine, ten-year-old kids could do push-ups, could do like squats, like all without weights, but you know, using their body weight, I felt that a practice would last like maybe like three hours, like uh, you know, like the off ice and the on ice, and I really believe in this. And in the summer, kids should play tennis, they should play golf, they should play baseball, and you know, you you meet new concepts and you teach your body and the you know like other moves, other sports, and, you know, there's nothing wrong like playing a little bit of summer hockey or, you know, like a hockey camp here and there, but do we need to be on the ice like 52 weeks a year? I don't think so. Well, like, uh, there's lots of ways. I believe communication, whether it's in minor hockey, whether it's in the NHL or just in every day, uh, every day of life, you know, you need to communicate, you need to listen to people, you need to ask questions, you need to also observe, like, you know, like, uh, as coaches, we're not always right. And I challenge my players a lot of time for, for feedback. So I think that, you know, you, you want to build character. You, you always want to build a good culture because good players will not necessarily make a good team. Good people will make a good team. And then it's the job of the coaching staff of the entire organization to make those good people good players. So I think that there's a fine line with this. We always want talent. Winning is such you know, like a drug in our sport that sometimes we forget about you know, like the reality of why we're in here with, with kids. Because let's face it, you know, like, uh, at the NHL level, we take it for granted too many times. We forget to thank the volunteer, like, uh, you know, organizers, coaches in minor hockey, parents, even the kids, because they're the roots of hockey. And just have fun. Like, it's a great game. Like, do it with pride. Like, make sure that you care about always who's sitting beside you. Like, be as a team. And remember, you come in in a rink as a champion. The biggest challenge for you is to leave the rink as a champion. And it's not always based on wins and losses. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Good luck with the season. Thank you.